Seventy-three. All right. So, Ms. Vallo, you are appearing here on two cases. Um, these are both grand jury warrants. What that means is that the grand jury here in Arizona has indicted you um, on two charges. The first case is CR 2022-001242-001. You're being charged in that case with one count of conspiracy to commit first-degree murder. It is a Class One felony committed on October the 2nd of 2019. The second case is CR 2021-001704-001. In that case, you're also being charged with one count of conspiracy to commit first-degree murder. It is also a Class One felony. That offense allegedly occurred on July 11th of 2019. Now, I do have to advise you of your right to um, have an attorney and the right to remain silent. I will appoint counsel for you in both cases. I have a court date coming up for you called the not guilty arraignment hearing. Give me just a second. That hearing is gonna take place in the downtown Phoenix Superior Court in our central court building. And the date is gonna be next Thursday, December 7th at 8.30 in the morning. Okay. In both cases, you are You've been extradited from the state of Arizona. You're currently under the jurisdiction of the Idaho Department of Corrections. That makes you non-bailable at this hearing. So you're not eligible for bail in either case. You do have your court date. You know a lawyer is going to be appointed for you. Do you have any questions? Are those cases going to be combined or are they going to be done separately? Well, they are two separate cases, mm -hmm. but they're going to be handled at the same hearing. Okay. Okay. So. You can talk to your lawyer, but they are two separate cases, which means that you'd have two separate proceedings going forward if it goes to trial. Okay. Okay. Any other questions, Ms. Hall? Just one attorney or more attorneys will be assigned to Well, at this point at in this time, point. <laughs> at this point in time, you're likely going to have the one lawyer represent you at this particular hearing. Um, what the Maricopa County Public Defender does at this point in time with respect to who they assign for counsel for you or how many lawyers you have or anything like that, that will be between you and your lawyer. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? So you're saying that they'll be, will I get to talk to them before that arraignment hearing or will just at that arraignment hearing they'll be assigned? Well, typically you do meet your lawyer at that arraignment hearing. Under the circumstances of this case, they may reach out to you before that hearing to have discussions with you. Um, there is also a telephone number that you're going to have on your paperwork that will uh, be able to connect you with the Maricopa County Public Defender's Office. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you, you Ms. Value. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. All right.